Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and I want to talk specifically about those people who are new to Amazon. Are you new to Amazon? Are you considering selling? Are you researching and you're still listening and you're still watching videos and you're just really unsure? Well, this is the year for being unsure, right? Well, this is the video for you. This is the podcast for you. The one that you wanna to listen to to understand the top five things you need to know to get started selling on Amazon and for $500 or less. If you are not new to Amazon, I'm so glad that you're here. And I think if you stick around, you might learn a thing or two and just prepare yourself for what's coming because selling on Amazon is a true legitimate business you can make really good money selling on Amazon from the comfort of your own home, from your office, from around the world. You do not have to have your own warehouse, all these things. But I want to bring some clarity to the table because this is a legitimate business that you can start. But of course, it takes time and money, time to learn, time to figure out the learning curve, plus a little bit of money to invest. I mean, you can't really start a business from nothing, really. It always is going to take time and money and combine that with what you've got and you can do that. So for those of you guys that are new here, if you don't know me, I want to introduce myself. I am Kristen Ostrander, the host of the Amazon Files podcast and the owner of MommyIncome.com, where I use my 18 years of e-commerce experience to help others start and grow businesses on Amazon. And as a current seven-figure seller, I am fully equipped to help you start your business, grow your business, and go even beyond that. So let's get to it. $500 or less on Amazon. Here's a few things to remember before we get to our top five things. Remember that you're starting a business. Amazon is a legitimate business. This is not a hobby. It can be a side hustle, but you need to understand that it's a real business and we will get to that in just a minute. The first and foremost thing that I want to know is why are you here? You are, you clicked on this video for a reason. You listen to this podcast for a reason. There is a reason you are here. There's a reason why you wanted to sell on Amazon, that you're interested in starting an Amazon business or that you started an Amazon business. Maybe you're floundering, maybe you're struggling, maybe you're not, maybe you're thriving. But what is the reason? The reason is really, really important. What is it that you want in your life to change? If you're trying to start an Amazon business, are you trying to change something in your life? Are you trying to get rid of that nine to five? Are you trying to have more personal freedom in your life? Do you want to work from home because of office environments? Whatever it is, you really need to think about your why because that is going to be the driving force for how you proceed. It even is the driving force for the business model that you choose on Amazon. So what, does it, what are you actually going to do? What is it that you want in your life to change? Do you want more time freedom? Do you want more location freedom? Do you just want to work from home and don't want to go to an office? Whatever that is, that is something that's going to help you decide which business model to choose. And we do have a video to tell you about all the different Amazon business models. So you want to make sure that you check out that link so that you watch the different business models that they have on Amazon. There's all kinds and you need to understand which ones they are before you go in here. Today we're talking about Amazon FBA and an FBA inventory based business. So you have to understand your why in order to decide if this is going to be right for you if you want to run an inventory based business because guess what? You are going to have to sell product. That means you're going to have to touch product, move product, either whether you or a warehouse or someone else, you're going to have to do all these things. So you have to be prepared to be able to do all of those things. Okay, why are you doing this? What is it you want to change in your life? Go ahead and just write that down. I mean, figure it out. Decide what's the reason you're here. What is that nagging frustration or reason that you've got, I've got to do better in my life. I hate my boss. I'm tired of being broke. Whatever it is, I get it. I've been there. Remove all the doubt because the next thing you need to remember is that this can be done. It's done every single day. Starting and growing a seven-figure Amazon business from the comfort of your own home is done every single day. Not just by me, but by everybody in the Facebook group. Oh, if you're not in the Facebook group, mommyincome.com slash join us, code word, hashtag SFT. And you can get into the Facebook group and join other like-minded sellers that our people are selling and want to sell and are selling and all that kind of stuff. But it can be done. 
my life is living proof. I started my Amazon business in 2008 as a stay-at-home mom with two little kids. And two years after that, I was doing okay, moving at a slow pace, but bringing a little extra change in the house. I needed to. We were living paycheck to paycheck. We, have a un we had an unsteady income. We were young. We had a couple of kids. We were just like starting our lives, right? Um, but then after two years, my third child was born. My husband was injured at work. He couldn't go to work. He had to have surgeries and all this different stuff. We lost everything, including our house to foreclosure in 2012. The Amazon business was the only thing keeping food on the table at the time. Now fast forward to where we are now, three plus years or more of seven figure sales, but it took that time to build up. So each year, year over year, we were growing and growing and growing. And we started with retail arbitrage and moved on into wholesale and now into wholesale bundles. So remove any doubt. You're sitting there going, I wonder if this will work for me. I don't know about my life. Or Kristen, you don't know about my injuries. You don't know about this. You know. It can be done. It's done every single day. You can run an Amazon business. You are smart enough. You are qualified. You can do this. It is possible because my life is living proof. And that's why I sit here making videos for you because I want you to have the same inspiration that your life can change if you decide to take action. I'm gonna promise you this, it is a business. This is not a side hobby or just something that you're gonna do a little bit over here. Be all in. Just be all in. That doesn't mean you have to spend every waking hour on this business, but be committed to yourself. Be committed to your reason that you're starting. Be committed to what you want your result to be. Because remember, you start an Amazon business because you want something in your life to change. You either want more money or you want more freedom or you want a little bit of both. Hey, I'll take all that, right? And so I wanted to make extra income for my family. I didn't want to go out and have to work outside of my home. I wanted the comforts of my own home. I wanted to take care of my kids, but I also needed to make money. This was the perfect situation. It is not gonna be fast. It is not gonna be easy. It is not get rich quick. So if that was what you were here for, it's okay, you can go ahead and go now. It's not that, but it takes time, consistency, and everything just like any other business. But it's okay to go slow, and it's also okay to go fast. If you're a fast learner and you take action every single day, your business will grow fast. It's those that if you want to take a slow pace, you can take a slow pace. Just remembering those things. As you keep this in mind, there's a reason why you wanted to start an Amazon business. There's a reason why you're here. Don't let that slip away as you're listening to all these different things of what you need to know to sell on Amazon right here and now. So let's get into the top five things you need to know to start your Amazon business for less than $500. And just in case that catches you up, go research starting up businesses. Business startups are very expensive. Sometimes, you know, you want to do a franchise, you want to open a brick and mortar store, expensive, lots and lots of money, lots and lots of overhead, takes tons of time to get started, not here, not now. In this day and age, in 2020, where we're at right now, you can start your Amazon business today. You literally can. You can sign up and you can start Amazon business today. If you want more information on that, We'll give you some links in a minute, but startfbatoday.com is where you can go to find out more information. But you can start your legitimate business today, but that's number one, top things to keep in mind. Legitimate business practices. You need to be legitimate. If you don't have an EIN number or a business bank account, you better stop right now and get those things. You need to be legitimate. Don't use your social security number. Don't do all those things. Now, you don't have to have an LLC. It's recommended once you start your business and keep it moving. You can always change to an LLC. But if you're just a single person, you can do a sole proprietorship on Amazon. But get your EIN number so you're not using your social security number across the board tax setup, bank accounts, and your pro versus individual account. You can start a pro Amazon account or an individual account. It kind of just depends. You'll have to read the policies. That's the next thing that you need to know. Every Amazon person, every Amazon seller needs to know the rules and policies. There are so many rules and policies in Amazon. Below this video, you will find the link to all the things I'm mentioning. So don't feel like you have to write everything down right now below this video. You will see all of the links to all of the policies here. You also need to understand that there are multiple business models on Amazon and you need to decide what's best for you your budget, your lifestyle. There's another video, you can find the link again below, or you can find it in the playlist that you see here on YouTube. 
that will explain to you all the different business models in detail. There's things like private label, you've got wholesale, you've got retail arbitrage, you've got Amazon affiliates, there's merch by Amazon, all the different things. Today we're specifically talking about Amazon FBA and different sourcing methods, which is ways to find your inventory. That's not a business model, those are just different ways to find your inventory. So this is talking about Amazon FBA. Some people um, teach you to go all the way over to overseas, pick a product, find a product, create a brand, um, import it, bring it to the marketplace, all those kinds of things. That's a, a business model you can certainly start with. But we're starting today with $500 or less on Amazon FBA. Now, this is the second thing you need to know. This is an inventory based business. And this is the number two thing that you must need to know after setting up your business legitimately separate bank account than your regular checking account. You want to have your EIN number. You want to make sure all of your duckies are in a row and you know, Amazon's policies. Okay. Moving on to step two inventory based business. What does that mean? That means you're going to have to buy products to sell. And how are you going to know which products to sell and which products to buy? And how are you going to do all that? Well, you have to learn how to properly source products. There are books, there are tools, there are everything available for you to be able to do this. There's different sourcing methods as well. Sourcing simply means buying inventory to sell. Source is where you get the product from. So where are you sourcing your products from? There are many, many research tools available. There's lots of free ones. The free one is the Amazon Seller app. Once you sign up for your Amazon selling account, you can download the Amazon Seller app and you can start researching products to sell using your phone camera by scanning barcodes. There's different sourcing methods. You can, on a super low budget, you can start in your own house. You can scan books, you can scan uh, DVDs and CDs and old board games and things like that. Anything new in the box. There's lots of things to buy, but you know, you need to know how to make those decisions. How do you know what to buy? How do you know how much money you're going to make on those things? Learn to source products correctly. Do you have sourcing guidelines? Do you know how much you're going to spend on a product and how much you're going to actually make on the product? Go to mommyincome.com slash smart and get the smart sourcing guide. The smart sourcing guide is going to teach you how to source products in a fast and convenient way. If you have a, a super low budget, you definitely want to start at home. Scan books on your bookshelf. Go to thrift stores and yard sales and library book sales. Craigslist, Facebook, Marketplace, um, sale, yard sale sites, and retail store clearance sections, things like that. You can get products from anywhere, but knowing how and how to make proper buying decisions for your store, you need to learn how to source properly. So you, so you need to know what your guidelines are going to be. Guidelines are um, what is your percentage of ROI that you want to bring back in? If you want to make 100% on your money, you need to buy an item for $10, accommodate $10 for Amazon selling fees. It's an average of 30% or so, and then your, your $10 profit. So you want to kind of look at that as the guideline, the thirds. So if you're buying for five bucks, you want to at least sell it for 15 because you're going to have fees and everything in there, and then you're doubling your money. So that is like a really short guideline to what you want to do. But there's other things like best seller rank, BSR, sales ranks? How, how do we know how well this product performs? Learning how to source and learning which products to sell on Amazon that are going to sell well for you and make you a good profit is the majority of learning the Amazon business. So you want to make sure you have learn how to source products properly. And then of course, where to get them. We already mentioned many places where to get inventory. Wholesale sources, of course, many people think that that's more of an advanced tactic. It's actually not. Once you know what you're doing and know how to find products in your profit margin range or your uh, return on investment range, um, you can source anywhere you want to. Getting started, it's cheaper to make mistakes with cheaper products than it is to make thousand dollar mistakes, right? So when you're new, you want to start smaller so that you know uh, what you're looking for, how you're looking for it, and when you send in inventory into Amazon and how fast it moves and things like that. So making sure that you understand 
inventory-based products, meaning you're constantly going to have to purchase inventory to sell on Amazon. And there's very inexpensive ways, but if you have a bigger budget to start out with, you can start wholesale accounts in new categories right away. You don't have to wait. There's not, um, there's not, you don't have to be in business a certain number of years or days or months in order to open wholesale accounts. You can open them right now today. So wholesale, you can start right away. You can do retail arbitrage, which is simply going to any sort of store online or in person and purchasing to resell somewhere else. That's arbitrage, whether it's online, retail, anything else. You can go to thrift stores. You can go to um, any of these places. You just have to be careful when you're thrifting or finding things around your house that you're, you pay attention to condition of items, whether there's missing parts, whether they have price stickers on them. There's ways and rules to prep and prepare your inventory to send in to Amazon. So you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to those guidelines and understanding that you're going to have to clean up some of the products. You're gonna to have to prep them in a certain way. A lot of times they need to be um, enclosed in poly bags or put into boxes before you ship them to Amazon. There's an entire process when it comes to that. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to all the rules and regulations. So. Number one, you're a legitimate business, understanding that you need to, to be a legitimate business. And the first thing you've got to do is set yourself up for success in the beginning with, with your legitimate business. Number two, you need to understand this is an inventory based business and you're going to need to learn how to source products correctly. Mommyincome.com slash smart to get the smart sourcing guide so that you know you can set guidelines for yourself while you're sourcing products. Even while you're just learning, you want to have the guidelines because it will help you pick out products that are going to sell, sell quickly and sell with the right profit margin for you. You've got to know if you're making money. Knowing your numbers is super important. If you're sending in a bunch of inventory, but then you're actually losing money because you keep lowering your price, that's not going to help you. So you need to understand it's an inventory based business and sourcing products correctly is the key to almost everything. Number three is there's tons of tools, apps, resources, and supplies out there. But here's the real truth. You don't have to start with all of those. You don't. You can start for almost free. I, the, here's our, here are the minimum requirements for starting on Amazon and starting a legitimate Amazon business right now today. And I tell you, most of them don't cost a thing. Some of them you're going to have to invest in, but they mostly don't cost a thing. And hang in there because the next one is how you're going to divvy up your $500 so you can start your business right now. So the tools, apps, resources, and supplies, you're not going to spend very much money on these in the beginning. You're just going to learn how to source products, how to prep them to send them into Amazon, send them into Amazon, and then you can take a deep breath and go, okay, I started my business. And then you start to go through and dig and refine. We're not gonna sit on this forever and then not make any money. If you wanna really earn an income with our legitimate Amazon business, you're going to need to take action. You're not going to keep learning and keep researching and keep researching you're going to actually take some action. So what do you need? You need a computer, you need a printer, you need to sign up for your Amazon account to get the Amazon seller app. You need the FBA revenue calculator. That is something you can type into Google right now, FBA revenue calculator, and it will give you this wonderful page that comes up. You can put an ASIN, which is a Amazon SKU or ASIN into the revenue calculator, put how much it costs, and then it will tell you what your return on investment or margin is going to be on that item. Minus Amazon's fees, it will tell you, hey, this is going to make you $8.12. Well, if you're standing at the dollar store and you're only gonna pay a dollar for that and you're gonna make $8.12, that is a clear winner, right? So you wanna make sure that you have all the proper tools, but don't overbuy. I love some of the tools I have. I have Inventory Lab, I have Merchant Words, I have Helium 10, I have a lot of these different software programs, but I didn't start that way. I started with nothing. I started with everything that was free and that's okay for you as well. All of the software things at first, but there are certain things you're going to have to buy. You're going to have to invest in some things. If you want to know all the different tools and resources that I recommend and I use, go to mommyincome.com slash resource, and you can go to the resource page on our website, and you will see all the different things, the printers, the scanners, the tape gun, the things like that that you need. But you might have a tape gun at home, then you don't have to buy one. I prefer the fat three-inch tape because it covers the box in one swipe, but 
you can use whatever works for you. So there's tools, resources, apps, supplies you're going to need to buy. When you're doing FBA, you're sending all of your inventory into Amazon in one, two, or however many giant boxes. You're not individually shipping items to customers. So you're going to need some big moving boxes, either uhaul.com or, or um, uhaul or Lowe's or Home Depot or any of those places that have big moving boxes. That's what we usually use to ship stuff into Amazon. Small, medium, large size, whatever works for you. You're going to need some FNSU sticky labels. You're gonna need, those are called 30 up labels, Avery, whatever else, whether you have an inkjet printer or a laser printer, whatever you need, you're gonna to need to put labels on your items. Poly bags is something that you just can't go to the store and buy. They just don't sell many of these poly bags that you use to send into Amazon. You can go to Bubble Fast and get a, a, an assortment of those. You can even buy an assortment on Amazon to get your poly bags. That's part of the prep that you need. So you're going to need supplies, but you don't need a bunch of expensive equipment. You don't need a bunch of expensive software to get started. Most of the stuff you can do for free, of course, except for your boxes and labels and poly bags, you're going to need to spend a couple dollars on those. So how do you get started for 500 bucks or less? $50 of that is going straight to your supplies. Just designate $50 right now for your boxes, poly bags, some tape, you know, some things like that, because you're going to need to ship your inventory in. So just that's $50 right off the top. The other $50 you're going to put aside for opening your Amazon account when you are ready to press go. Don't do it until you're ready to press go, because then you won't be charged that monthly service fee that Amazon charges, $39.99 for your, your account fee. Um, and your initial shipping costs, you're going to have to make sure you have enough money to cover your initial shipping costs. So maybe you do a small shipment of 50 things when you first send it in, and it's going to cost you upfront to ship that. So having that money in, in your account is helpful. The next hundred dollars that you're so so you're up to a hundred bucks now with fifty dollars for supplies and your uh, initial shipping and Amazon account. The next hundred dollars you're going to want to spend on education. You're going to want a step by step of how to do all these things. Of course, I'm making you this video, but it would take hours for me to describe every single process step by step. But guess what? I already did that for you. Start FBA today is our signature course to help beginners start. It is $97. You guys, it's a steal. It's a steal for a step-by-step -step how to start a business. No more 500 hours of YouTube where this person's selling you this many things, this person's selling you that many things, and you just don't know your ear from your elbow. This is your step-by-step -step business setup. You're going to learn business setup. You're going to learn source how to source inventory properly, how to process and prep that inventory, how to ship it into Amazon, how to reinvest that, and then how to take action consistently. It is a video step-by-step -step course. Each one is broken down into different modules so you can learn at your own pace. But this is a steal to be able to learn how to start and grow your Amazon business right from your home, own home, and starting today. So startfbatoday.com to be able to get that, that course for you. You can literally log on and start it right the second. No more waiting. And then the final $300 you're gonna have left after buying your supplies, opening your Amazon account, and then buying SFT as your training course, you're gonna need 300 extra dollars of your 500 to buy inventory. And so that's gonna be really helpful for you because you've got to start with inventory. This is a product-based business. You can't just open your account and then continue to do research and then you never actually sell products. You're here to sell products and there's many, many ways to find products to sell and, and you could spend hours and hours on YouTube or you can take the course right now and get started learning how to, to as little as two weeks. The last person that took this course that gave us some feedback said, I literally had something sell within two weeks of taking your course. Like, thank you so much. I'm like legitimately in business. It was this person's first time they had ever started a business in their life. And they were super excited that they made their first sale within two weeks of starting. So that can be you as well. Now, our fifth and final uh, things that you need to know as an Amazon beginner, is this your newbie advice? Now this is, of course, after been there and done that for so many years now, I mean, it's, gosh, it's 2020, I've been at this a really long time. I started in e-commerce in 20, 2003 on eBay, so gosh, it's been like 17 years. Your newbie advice, 
don't pay attention to everyone else's numbers. If you're in some Facebook groups and everyone's saying, oh, look at this sales for today, or this is my first week and I've made X amount of dollars, stay in your lane. Pay attention to your own numbers, pay attention to what you want, focus, I'll put a sticky note on your desk or on your laptop that explains why you're doing this. I want to start an Amazon business because, fill in the blank, so that I can blank. You know, maybe it's, I want to start an Amazon business so I can make more money to quit my nine to fives. Whatever that is, put it in stone, put it in your sticky note and pay attention to that. And the second thing, send inventory in as soon as possible. There's no point in waiting. A year is going to pass. Five years is going to pass. Six months is going to pass. You can either have a business that's going and running, moving slow, moving fast, but moving, or you could get to the same time next year and go, man, I really wish I would have tried that out. Time's going to pass anyway. What is it that you really want? What is the reason that you clicked on this video or listened to this podcast? Remember that and send inventory in as soon as possible. The other thing is continually look for product to sell. Whether you're doing retail arbitrage online or you're doing wholesale, look and research and look and scan and research and find products to sell. This is an inventory-based business. And if you don't have inventory, that means you can't sell anything. If you can't sell anything, you're not making money. So pay attention to how your inventory levels and continually um, keep, we call it feeding the beast, right? Keep sending product in to sell on Amazon. You can't grow your sales. You can't grow everything. You can't learn from mistakes or learn from what you did before if you don't continually send inventory in. So send inventory in as soon as you have it. Focus on one sourcing method at a time. So this is all about focus and not just, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of retail arbitrage, but then I want to get into wholesale, but then I'm going to do some books. Like each method has its own madness. Each sourcing method has its own way and own guidelines for doing things. Learn one at a time, the one that's most comfortable for you. Some people love shopping and they want to go out and do retail arbitrage and scan products and stand in stores and things like that. And that's something that's fun to them. That was my mom. My mom loved retail arbitrage. She still does. But we do wholesale bundles now because time, energy, and, and scalability. Retail arbitrage was a great place to start, but it couldn't scale us to the seven figure level that we wanted to get to. So we switched over to wholesale and then wholesale bundles. But if you're doing wholesale, it's a whole nother method of buying products because you're looking at catalogs and you're running numbers and you're figuring out how many come in a case pack and how is it packed and how you wanna do different things. If you're doing books, learning how to do books is another process. So focus on one sourcing method at a time. If you're going to start with books, do books for a couple months until you get the hang of it. Then start doing some retail arbitrage. Then maybe add wholesale, but do one thing at a time and learn it to where you're comfortable and then keep moving. That is just how you need to focus. Don't focus on the shiny objects. There's so many people giving so many pieces of information, lots of golden nuggets out there. But if you're constantly in the learning phase, you're not in the doing phase. So don't get the shiny object syndrome. Decide that you're going to focus on one particular sourcing method and focus on that until it's completed. Until it's done, focus on that. And then learn something else. Spend time reading Amazon policies and Amazon rules and not social media. If you get on social media, all the, all the different Facebook groups, not mine, of course, uh, hashtag SFT, mommyincome.com slash join us, come to the Facebook group. We have some good legitimate places in there and you can learn from tons of people. But there's other groups out there that they, they complain basically the entire time about how Amazon's this and Amazon's that and this is happening and that's happening and they're not really um, getting anything done. They just spend time on social media complaining about all the things that are going wrong. Don't spend your time there. You're starting a business. Stay focused and stay excited about your reason. Do you want to earn extra money? Did you know that you don't earn extra money complaining on Facebook about all the things that are going wrong? I mean, who knew that that doesn't make any money? I mean, if that made money, there would be millionaires out there that I know personally. 
<laughs> billionaires even, the people that spend so much time on social media complaining or, or saying that they're research, searching or looking stuff up when then honestly, they're just wasting time. I love social media just as much as y'all, but when it comes to building your business, you have to stay focused on business building and social media is not going to get your stuff sold on Amazon. So let's just do it. Don't listen to too many people and too many things. Just, you will get confused. You will get overwhelmed. You will get frustrated. And what happens when those things happen? You're going to want to quit. You're going to want to give up. You're going to say it's too hard. You're going to say that um, I just need to learn a little bit more before I try this thing. Not true decide it doesn't have to be me there's tons of youtube channels out there with people telling you how to do amazon but you know pick what's right for you but then stick with it so if you like somebody else's youtube channel or you're you're here with mommy income in the amazon files then stick with it for a certain period of time and decide that you're going to give it your all give it six months I venture to say, give it a year, try it for one year. And then one year later, you can decide, wow, that was a total doozy and I didn't do it at all. And it was, you know, not for me and I wasn't motivated and I didn't like it. Or in a year from now, you could be knocking down six figures and going, oh my gosh, I wish I would have done this sooner. So wherever you're landing with that, a year is going to pass. Don't spend all your time con continually researching and research and research. Research doesn't make you money. What makes you money is actually taking action and doing it. So let's go over these five things and the $500 that you're going to spend to start your Amazon business right now today. You're going to, first of all, remember your why and remove all the doubt. If I can do it as a stay at home mom that was broke as a joke, literally, I started my Amazon business with books from around my house. I sold used board games. I sold used books from library book sales and Salvation Army and Goodwill and all these and yard sales. Okay. If I can do it, you can do it. If people are doing it every day, remove the doubt. It's possible for you. I believe in you. And I also have all the resources and tools to help you succeed. Thousands of students have succeeded starting on Amazon, listening to this podcast, watching this YouTube channel. You can do it as well. Legitimate business. Make sure you're setting yourself up for a legitimate business. Your bank account, your EIN number, all those things. Inventory based. Learn how to purchase inventory properly so that you don't lose a bunch of money. Mommyincome.com slash smart to get the smart sourcing guide so you know exactly what to do to source products. You can also get that in your SFT course, which is the first thing you're going to do to spend your $500 to start your business. Start FBA today.com. Get your SFT course. It will get you started. It's the best hundred bucks that you're going to spend as far as getting your business off the ground on Amazon. You're going to spend $50 on supplies like tape gun and boxes and poly bags and labels to be able to send your inventory that you just learned how to purchase uh, into Amazon. And then the other $50 you're going to use for your Amazon account and your initial shipping into Amazon. And then $300 is reserved for your inventory that you're going to learn how to purchase. So that is the top five things I feel like you need to know right now in 2020 to start your Amazon business for $500 or less, mommyincome.com is the best place to find the resources that you need to start and grow your business. Again, for that special deal to get SFT, startfbatoday.com to get started on Amazon and reach out to me, send me an email. I wanna hear about your stories. I wanna hear about why you wanna start on Amazon. Send me an email right now, tag me in social media. I wanna hear from you because I live to make sure that you guys are successful and following and meeting your dreams. I believe in you. You've got this. Start your Amazon business right now today. Go get them.